Hi folks, this is an updated review of the Synergy ROM for the HTC Evo 3D. I reviewed this about two months back, um, but now um, it's got 2.3.4 and also Ziggy kernel, so allows you to overclock. Um, it's very, very fast. I will show you. Alright, so let me show you. Uh, quadrant. Um, let me see here. Quadrant. Let's run a benchmark here. Uh, I'm actually running this at um, 1.836 gigahertz overclock. Um, not all Evo 3Ds might be able to overclock that much. Nor do I recommend you to actually run it at that rate unless you're connected to uh, your USB drive and or USB charger and you're playing some kind of 3D games that requires every bit of CPU power. Otherwise I would set it probably just overclock it just a little bit, maybe 1.4, 1.5 gigahertz and put it on demand. Um, that way you get very good battery life out of it. Um, these are only for benchmarks only. So I got 2930, I was getting near 3500, 3600 earlier. Um, so those scores were really good and I got it overclocked um, and for those of you who don't know how to install it uh, I made another video for this ROM because you have to format it as extension for file system you can do it without doing that but then it'll be a lot slower um, but off the go I can see it's it's just much faster I was playing with all these other ROMs and then I find that uh, I came back to this and as soon as I've installed this again I noticed that it's so much faster um, this box screen is kind of cool too. You've got the um, kind of a Sense 3.0 customized and you can put it wherever you want it to. Other than that, there's so many things about this ROM. Um, you can even add uh, SS SSH, bear, bear drop. Um, there's a ton of things. There's DSP manager for sound. Um, there's also uh, dynamic DNS support if you want to run a web server on your phone or something. Um, and also there's a ton of stuff, OpenVPN. Um, so there's, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this ROM. I'm not going to list it. Um, you can check out the donate link where he has all the... Um, all the stuff in there, including USB tethering, Wi-Fi tethering, app to SD. It's it's a really great ROM, like I you know reviewed last time. But I think it's a bit even better now because um, it's been two months. Anyway, for those of you who haven't tried it, highly recommend you try this out. And don't forget to uh, if you're on HBoot 1.5, you have to install this from uh, Fastboot. Actually, you have to launch Clockwork Mod Recovery, Clockwork Mod Recovery, boot it from Fastboot. That way you can flash the kernels. Otherwise, you're gonna get stock kernel and you're gonna lose 4G and Wi-Fi. I have the video link below. Just um, you know, there's two files. There's an extension for file formatter, and then the ROM file. You just have to zip both um, the the formatter and then the ROM zip file. That's it, and uh, you should be good to go. Anyway, let me know what you think of this ROM. Uh, I know I reviewed it, and a bunch of people love it. Um, so I'm sure you guys love it again, um, but uh, I came back to this ROM because uh, I just really need overclocking. I need extension for file system, and this is the only ROM that gets like really good high scores on benchmarks. Um, anyway, uh, here's another updated review of the Synergy ROM. Again, it's great, better than ever. Um, see y'all later, and subscribe. Thanks, y'all.